All right, uh, is Mac Jones done as Patriots starting quarterback? What? So I asked Bill this morning, did you guys play? We played it. Okay. We played All it right. yeah. I mean, I thought it's the one question, right, you got to start with. It's and, start and with. The, it's probably the answer you knew you were And the get, fact right? that he didn't answer it, though, makes me he's think done. he's that, he's not, you know, that he, I don't say that he's done, but he's not ready to say it. Um, I, I thought he was done right after the game, and then I watched the game over again, and I thought to and then I had a, a couple conversations with people that I respect around the league who were quite surprised that he got pulled in that situation. And the only thing I would say, Beetle, where he might not be done is if Belichick goes back, watches the game, says, I made an emotional decision to pull him because I was so pissed at, at one of the worst interceptions I've ever seen. Um, but in retrospect, I probably put my back up in a bad position by putting him in the game in that. I don't know. I don't think I don't know. Perfect, but I don't in know how you moment, make that decision to come back from it. In the moment, you know. So that would be the one re- the one scenario where I could say he's not done. Where Belichick, with time to assess, says, "Geez, I made an emotional decision more than a well thought out one." I don't know what I was thinking. Why I thought a backup who's cold on the sideline could come in with 152 left. Do you think it was an lead. emotional decision as an observer? After watching the game over, Beetle, I, I could make that case strongly because it was so much more bad around Mac than just Mac. Well, yeah, but, I mean, that's been true in a lot of games, and I would say that it's not emotional for the fact that this was not new, what Mac Jones did in this game. That's the problem. His constant mistakes of turning the ball over and doing it in some critical situations is not new. That this was just the straw that broke the camel's back. It wasn't like this just came up out of nowhere and Bill reacted because it was such a bad pick. It was a bad pick in a long line of bad picks and turnovers for Mac Jones that they just cannot accept anymore. I think the the pushback for me on that, and you're you're not you're not wrong, obviously. I think everything around him was the same thing we've seen all year. He got the crap kicked out of him in the first half because the pass blocking was atrocious. And so I think we saw a residual of that. He was never comfortable. And I'm not ma- I don't want to make excuses for him. I think people are going to hear this be like, stop making excuses for Mac. I am not making excuses for Mac. The interception was terrible. The near interception of Hunter Henry was terrible. The underhanded toss to Ramondre Stevenson was terrible. Bad plays. But everything around him stinks too. And if we don't acknowledge that, we're, I feel like we're scapegoating the yeah, guy. Yeah, but, but that's the one position that's, that can't, fall in line when when bad things are happening with everybody else it's nature you're, you're almost beast. like a coach on the field in essence that i'm the one that can't make the mistake and he's made too many critical ones and now the team's watching and if i'm a player in that team and the head coach says i'm taking out the starter in a four-point game with the ball that's an indicator that he's done I don't know how you go back from that. You I don't. don't. Look, you lose your team if you bring the, it back. The pick, the pick was so bad, but just to kind of, and I, I don't agree with the overall premise, Mike. Yeah. You want to pull Mac after that pick? I, I am not going to blame you. However, a little earlier in the game might have made more sense, especially when you had a chance at a game-winning, you know, drive, and you could have marched the ball down, you know, at the field, uh, Mac. Has only done it once, but he did it a couple of weeks ago against a better team in the Buffalo Bills. And just in that instance, forgetting about the history of of that game or that pick or what happened on your last possession, who is your best chance of driving down the field and scoring a touchdown right now? In that Would situation? Would it have been Mac Jones or Bailey Zappi? I think it's Mac. I th- and, and Do and you think it's Mac? I think it's Mac. Now, I based on that pick that he threw, I can't blame Bill or anyone else for yanking him out of the game and say, I never want to see that guy again. <laughs> that it was it was it's one of the worst picks I've ever it seen. It was one of the worst picks. And I think the the probably the other layer to this that we have to mention is okay, if you're gonna pull him, who are you putting in the game? Okay, we'll put in our backup quarterback who we cut at the end of training camp because we loved him so much and who's been sitting on the sideline cold for the last, you know, 58 minutes and 8 seconds. And that gives us, like, to me, like, that's the part of it. I mean, if you're going to a different backup that you feel stronger about based on your own actions, not what I'm saying, then maybe I'd feel stronger about it. But to me, that uh, that would be the one thing to answer going back to Beatles' question. Is he done? 
the one scenario that I can see where he isn't is with time and reflection to say, you know what, we, we made an emotional decision. A lot of people have brought up Will Greer's name. Yeah. Is there any reason to think that Will Greer would start a game before Bailey Zappi starts a game? It's it's possible to me, Beetle, and I'm, this is more my opinion, not something anyone has told me. Um, I, I, I'll talk to my colleague down in Dallas where Will Greer was um, – probably most recently outside his brief stop with the Bengals, and I mm-hmm. uh, respect him a lot. It's local guy, Todd Archer, uh, grew up in this area, and I said, tell me more about Will Greer. He goes, he thinks he's comparable, if not a step above Bailey Zappi. So in terms of um, the skill level, and I think the one thing about Greer that's interesting is a little bit of the element of the unknown. You don't know what he had, what he has, because we haven't seen him, and Bill was asked about him yesterday, and I think he said he's been the number three guy. Um, done pretty well with the opportunities he's had um, and I think he, the words he used made us think that maybe he won't be the number three for long. Maybe he comes up and is the number two. Um, maybe he comes up and is even more so than So you dress Mac out as the inactive guy? Well, the quarter, third, if, 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 you're wow. deciding, if you're deciding he's done, Man. if you're deciding he's done, maybe that's what you do, but you I have no idea. you that next week, like when we do the game and the inactives come in when we get him, hour and a half before? Mac Jones, Mac Jones says emergency that. quarterback. I mean, and that would be That's part a big of drop. whatever. The, what, what are you going to say, Hardy? No, I, based on what Zoe has said from the beginning, you've been consistent on this. Once you pull him, and once you start somebody else, he's done. You don't go back to him. That's it. So yeah, that's what he would be. He would yeah. be inactive. He's not going back into the game. It's going to be Bailey Zappi and Will Greer. I don't like that because now it feels like you're making it personal. He can still be the backup on the team. Now it feels like you're trying to embarrass him. That's it's, how I would look yeah. at that. Pen, you're penalizing. Now it looks like you are being emotional. Put him in timeout. And, and trying to put him in timeout. It, he still would be the backup. He would be the backup. It's, hey, we're giving someone for, else another but shot. But only for injury purposes. No, no, the backup, the number two. If the quarterback who starts oh. the game gets hurt, Matt comes back in. God. That's the way it should be played. And if the That's following, what Zosin hey, can't the do. Hey, and if the following week you decide you you know or, or weeks down the road you decide hey zappy isn't getting it done either we're going to go to greer and greer comes on as the starter and mac is still the backup that's the way that should go he should be in there as the backup if someone gets hurt that's the way i would play it to avoid it's not what uh, you to, want to do to avoid <laughs> to avoid the inactives coming out and everyone saying holy crap what yeah, happened man. to mac so Jones? so would you both be shocked if mac is starting yes uh, i'd be stunned i don't know how you do that stunned. after pulling him when you did yeah and, and, and he deserves to be benched. It's just he's not getting better. He's not fixing his mistakes, and this team is going nowhere. And I would say start thinking about who your quarterback is next year because it also should not be Mac Jones.